Hey all, Bear here. Look here, it's Tuesday, it's time for some camp cooking. And this week I've got an experiment. I was poking around in my cabinet with my camp foods and I just came up with an idea. And I want to try it out. I have this rice a uh, four cheese rice a It's in a microwave bowl. It's got a fast cook time. And I think that's going to be perfect for cooking on an alcohol stove. And we're going to make it ham and cheese rice with a little trail ham. That's right, a little spam. And if you want, you could use a sausage stick or some shelf-stable chorizo or whatever else you want in there. A little bag of chicken. You, know, you do what you want in your, uh, your cheesy rice. And to ramp up the seasonings, we've got some chives, some minced onion, some smoked paprika, and some chili powder. We've got a little oil to start off the ham, spam, and some water to cook it all. So let's get started, let's cook it up. Y'all want a quick tour of some of my DIY alcohol stoves? That's a few of them. I don't know how many I've got. I just grabbed these out of the box. And also, we're going to use this DIY pop koozie I made for the Walmart Ozark Trail uh, cup along with my homemade lid. That's like a 28 ounce tomato can lid. Fits perfect. Well, y'all, you missed out on it. We opened up the trail ham. We're getting it sliced up. Come on, stay on there. And I got my seasoning mix ready. And in that went the chili pepper, uh, in that went the chili powder, smoked paprika. You use the sweet paprika if you want to. Some minced onion and some chives and we're going to put some chives on top when we're all done all right so a little experiment here oh wow this picnic table almost went south on us <laughs> all right so i brought this measuring cup because these little microwave cups have a fill line you're supposed to fill the water too and i want to find out how much water goes in it so we're going to put All right, there's eight ounces of water. I don't think it's going to take any more than that. I don't think it's going to take eight ounces. Looks like we are just shy of three ounces less. So about five ounces of water into your uh, rice aroni microwave bowl. All right, I got it. Already got us a healthy dose of heat in there. I'm not quite sure how much I put in it. There we go. Now we're cooking with heat. Alright. Hot on. Go ahead and put our seasoning in there. Let them toast up a little bit. I'm gonna add a touch of water. Put a little deep glaze in action. Now let's get our rice in. Ooh. So my goal is I want this to come to a boil. Keep working the bottom of it around. And then I'm gonna cap it after it boils for about, I don't know, 30 seconds to a minute and slide it down into my koozie. And we'll let it hang out for, I don't know, five minutes and see what we get. We could put that lid on now if we want and speed up the boil process. 
Ooh, flame is trying to climb the side of my cup. Oh yeah. Yeah, steam told me we started to have a good boil going there. Make sure we don't have anything sticking on the bottom. Now, I'm not quite sure how long to let this boil for. I, I, you know, I've never done this. <laughs> we are learning together. I'm going to put both gloves on though. That's a lot of hot flame. I also wonder if I can freezer bag one of these. That might be an experiment for another day. Alright, I'm going to get it off of this flame before I lose too much liquid. Put it in my little koozie. You see that? And we'll put the lid on it. And I'm just gonna let it hang out there for about five minutes. Ooh, I must have had a lot of alcohol in there, huh? Have to go back and look at this and uh, see how much burn time I get out of that guy. All right, I think for the fourth time making this video, I forgot to hit record. So, anyways, we just pulled it out of the pan, and what I want you to see is that there is no scorching. We pulled that pan off the stove while there was still water in there and then we insulated it up and we let it hang out for five minutes and then we got this and we just topped it off with a few extra chives and if you want to get fancy with it give it another dash of paprika on there and make it look all kinds of nice but well, let's dig in and see if it tastes like it's something worth eating oh wow that's really good y'all <laughs> man that's an easy one. Get some of those little microwave uh, rice aronis and experiment a little bit. Doctor them up how you want them. I've cooked worse meals at home on the stove. <laughs> Man, that is such an easy way to create a trail meal. The only way this gets any easier is if we can recreate it in a freezer bag. Mm-hmm. It's a good one, and we'll see you on the trail.